Let's take a look at the process of installing a free plugin from the official WordPress directory. So from your WordPress dashboard, you can click over to the plugin section. And from here, you'll see a list of your currently installed plugins. And to add a new plugin, you can click add new either in the sidebar here or up here at the top. And the first page you're presented with here is a list of featured plugins. You can also use this tab at the top to view the most popular plugins. These are plugins that are installed on the highest number of websites. Now, if you're looking for something specific, most likely you're gonna to wanna to use this search box up here. So if we're looking for like social media share buttons, because that's the sort of example I've been giving, we can type social buttons and we'll see the options we have here. So this plugin looks like it might meet the criteria we're looking for. So we can click on the title to get a little more information. There is a description here. It says this plugin has not been tested with your current version of WordPress. That's a pretty common warning, not really something you need to worry too much about. What I would worry about is if it says this plugin has not been updated for two years or something like that. You can see this was last updated three weeks ago, so I'm not too worried about it being compatible. So again, we can get some more information about the plugin here, check out the screenshots, and I always like to look at the reviews as well. So if we wanted to, we can install the plugin here. I'm gonna keep browsing. And actually, I think I'm just gonna go back to the popular plugins, and I'm gonna install just a very simple plugin, this duplicate page plugin. This just adds some very simple functionality. It allows you to duplicate an existing post or page. So I'm gonna install this, and then straight away, I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Now the plugin has been activated, and if we go over to our pages, you'll see that when we hover over one of our pages, we have the option to duplicate. So if I hit duplicate this, you'll see that we have a copy of that page saved as a draft. So that's a great example of a plugin, just a little feature that WordPress doesn't come with out of the box that you want your site to have for one reason or another. Um, now, of course, plugins can do a lot more than that, but often it's gonna be these little individual features that you're looking for where a plugin is the perfect solution. And by the way, plugins will also typically add a settings menu somewhere and you can see the duplicate page plugin has added a new option under settings where we can configure some basic settings for that plugin. So that is how you find and install plugins within the WordPress dashboard. And in the next lecture, you'll see how to install a plugin from a third-party seller or marketplace.